Hello everybody, welcome back to another concert uh, review. <laughs> I've been knocking out concerts in June, and um, again, I'm wearing um, this shirt in these next few videos because I'm recording a few at one time while I'm on vacation. I wanted to have content to put out there for you. So, um, last night, uh, June the 15th, I went to go see, once again this year, and I'm saying that because I know that this video is only going to get like 30 views. The Wood Brothers. And um, they are now supporting their newest album, Heart is the Hero. There they are. There is the lead singer, Oliver. His brother, Chris, on the bass. And then John O'Ricks, percussionist, singer, and keyboardist. All at the same time, I should say. Um, this is their newest album. Fantastic. Um, I saw them earlier this year and I did a review with my cousin, Ethan. Um, saw them um, at a much smaller venue, held about 400 people, and I was front row, had my feet up on the stage, essentially, and um, this album, they just released um, the song, The Pilgrim, um, and that's all that was out at that point, so that's the only song that we heard live, but um, last night, we got to hear several songs from this album. They opened the set with um, Between the Beats, they did Pilgrim, they did Hard as the Hero, Line, Those Pockets, um, Rolling On, uh, Far From Alone, which was beautiful. Um, this is kind of a more intimate album than the last ones. They, if you don't, again, if you don't know the Wood Brothers, I should back it up. I'll talk about them to death. Um, they mix elements of jazz, funk, Americana, roots, country, gospel, um, some rock. You know, they mix a lot of stuff into their music. Um, even some songs have like a, maybe a hint of reggae, I would say, sometimes. But they just... They're a melting pot of great music, and I appreciate the Wood Brothers because they are just a three-piece unit. They don't have any touring musicians, and they put out a lot of sound as three guys. Oliver plays a mean slide guitar, both electric and acoustic. He has a killer voice, very unique. Chris um, sings great harmony vocals, occasional lead, and he's also in the jazz fusion trio Modesky, Martin, and Wood. And Jono, great producer. Um, again, great high falsetto singer he also um, plays a thing called the shitar which is a guitar with all sorts of percussive you know gizmos on it um, just a really really great unit of guys love them so much one of my favorite bands and um, again second time that i've seen them this year third time that i've seen oliver and Jono because oliver came as a solo gig um, to charlottesville virginia um, back in january i went to go see him with my uncle and um, saw this concert again last night, June 15th, um, at the Ting Pavilion in Charlottesville, Virginia, which is about two hours from my apartment. Um, never been to the venue. Great place. Again, outdoor amphitheater. It's like a huge tent. Um, probably holds 3,000 people, I would say. And um, it was close to a packed house. Great time. I was essentially front row, except the, um, the stage was quite high. It's like you had to look up. It was on a, like a brick platform. So um, if you follow me at all, like on Instagram, um, you'll see the pictures, how there was kind of, I couldn't see Jono for a lot of the show because of where his symbol was and just how far back he was on the stage. But, um, he did come out a few times and play when they all um, stood around one mic where they did like acoustic pieces. Um, they were supported by a um, duo from Charleston, South Carolina called Shovels and Rope, husband and wife duo. I didn't know anything about them. Um, other than the name, um, listen to a couple of the songs. They were okay um, in terms of what I listened to um, beforehand. But when I saw them, it was just the two of them. They both switched between one of them would play the lead guitar and the other one would play like this drum kit, you know, thing where it was a it was a weird drum setup where they had like a kick drum, snare, um, no hi hat, I don't think, um, and then a cymbal behind them that they were kind of hitting. But they also had like a, a little small um, synthesizer where they could play bass lines and add like strings or horns, or whatever they wanted to do. So I really respect that if they pulled out just the two of them, all that sound, very similar to, you know, like the White Stripes. Um, the first song that they did, um, I was sitting next to a gentleman who um, maybe he's watching. You know, hello. Um, he he was like an old, you know, uh, deadhead kind of guy. And he didn't know anything about either group. And so he was kind of just going in blind. Um, you know, just for the sake of being out alive music. He just lived a couple of blocks down the road. 
And the first song when they finished it, he kind of leaned into me because we were both there solo. So we were just kind of talking to each other throughout the show. And he said that the first song reminded him a lot of like the Velvet Underground, like early Velvet Underground, who I'm not a fan of, but I could, I, I sense that like it was very garagey, very raw. Um, just the, the, the vocals are just, you know, bluesy and gritty. Um, one of their big songs is called Birmingham. That was like kind of like the center point of their set. They played about 45 minutes, um, started about 7.30 and the Wood Brothers came out at nine o'clock after a, um, after they flipped the stage from Shovels and Rope to the Wood Brothers. But I mean, again, I've, I've talked about the Wood Brothers at nauseum. As always, they were a great show. Um, some highlights, they did the song, um, I Got Loaded, which I know Los Lobos did. It's an old New Orleans number. Um, great audience sing-along song. You know, it's like, tonight I got loaded on a bottle of gin, a bottle of gin. And then they kind of go, but I feel all right. I feel all right. I feel all right. I feel. It's just like one of those great songs. Great harmonica playing by Chris. Um, the shit is being played by Jono. And um, great acoustic um, slide playing by by Oliver. Um, another great standout was the song "A Little Bit Sweet" from their album um, uh, "One Drop of Truth" or "Kingdom in My Mind," I should say. Um, that was great. They did a song called "Jitterbug Love," also from that album that Chris sings live. Great slide playing by Oliver. Um, they did this their their biggest song, "Luckiest Man." That's what they always end their set with. Um, they finished the show with the encore called uh, "One More Day." an early song, great audience dance number. By that point, everybody had kind of moved down to the mosh and were dancing along and that sort of thing. Um, there was kind of a, a rowdier crowd there than I was expecting. There was a, a lady behind me who was very concerned that I was not standing up during the show. Um, however, I was in the front row and had no need to stand up. Um, there was nobody standing in front of me, so I could see fine. And she was obviously quite um, intoxicated and I could hear her talking to her boyfriend or husband or whoever and was like, you know, um, she's like, you know, these guys, you know, they've, they've, they've worked their whole lives to entertain us. These people should be standing up. And I kind of wanted to you know, make a joke about, you know, like my foot not working or something. I don't know, something ridiculous. But um, toward the end of the show, the gentleman that was sitting next to me left to beat the crowd and she moved next to me. And um, I'll, I'm sure most people will attest to this. Um, the, of, of the male, the male variety, when a female approaches you at a concert and they have a boyfriend slash husband, um, it is not in your best interest to make eye contact with said person or to have any kind of remarks towards said person. She was talking to me and she was like, you know, um, uh, she's like, you know, it's like, oh, I just had to move up. She's like, you know, I was sitting behind you. And I think she was just happy that I, cause by this point it was like the end of the show. So I was standing up for the last couple of songs. And I think that just like made her feel good that, you know, like, I don't know if she thought I was listening to whatever she was saying behind me, but I wasn't. Um, but I could tell like, she was like, it wasn't flirt, but it was on the cusp and her boyfriend was standing right behind me. And, um, I am five foot 11. This gentleman was about six foot three and could have easily taken me out back and thrown me off of a, you know, a bridge. Um, so I was not going to make eye contact. My, my, my verbal communication with her was minimal. My eyes were on the stage. All that to say, um, there was a, an instance, there were some, some ladies that were getting in front of a, a lady that was sitting next to me who um, was not standing up for a lot of the show. I'm guessing there was some sort of um, she was either injured or she just couldn't stand for long periods of time. And these ladies came and were dancing like right in front of her. And so her husband called security to kind of push them out of the way. So there were a couple of times where, you know, things got a little hectic, but not, not a whole lot. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, but it was, yeah, a great show. Like I said, they did great songs, beautiful version of the muse from their album, the muse. Um, and then they, at one point after that, they invited, um, shovels and rope to come back out and, um, they did the song it's all over now which the rolling stones made popular and actually i posted it on my channel so check out check out that um, version fantastic they've been doing different covers with them on this tour so um yeah all that to say the wood brothers i'm gonna make videos about them as long as i can even though nobody watches them 
So let me know if you've seen the Wood Brothers, if you know Shovels and Rope. Please buy this album. If anything else, buy this album. Heart is the Hero by the Wood Brothers. Um, I'll even take it out so you don't see the glare. Heart is the Hero by the Wood Brothers. Fantastic. In the running for album of the year for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for anybody that was at the show that's watching. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, y'all be good. Take care. And we'll see you on the next one.